Yoo-hoo! I'll make you famous. Here's a little confession for you. I am so sorry, but I couldn't complete the Foglands. And realistically, at this point in time, this is more of a warning review rather than anything else. So maybe at one point in this video, like and subscribe, and let's see why I'm so negative towards it. So firstly, before we get really into what's wrong with this game, the Foglands is a roguelike that sees you entering a world overrun by a fog. And worse over, it's your turn to step up and basically enter the unknown and hopefully return the world back to its former glory. At the very least, the Fogland sounds really, really good on paper. To start with, it's got a Western feel, which is always good. There's big ass guns and who doesn't like them? You can use things laying around as weapons, which is pretty cool. You can discover parts of the lore as you traverse the areas. And you can even gain buffs to your character with certain cards. And there's nice little interactions between NPCs sometimes and the creepy ass guy that brings you back on a train, which is weird. You even get to feel like a badass futuristic cowboy. And to be honest with you, this game should have been one of my game of the years easily. And while all that goodness is in the game, and it really does from time to time make you feel like a badass, there's also frame rate problems. And this is from the start. I mean, literally the first time I went into it, I had major frame rate issues. Some small that you can kind of shrug off, and yeah, okay, but it's not destroying my game. And as I mentioned, some larger ones that really throw you out. Again, I play these games without any comfort settings, smooth turning, smooth movement, you know, back and forward and just generally getting around. That is how I play them. I don't get motion sickness. But I have to admit, playing in this mode did make me kind of almost fall over several times. Whenever it went juddery, I kind of like stopped. It would throw me out of the game. I would feel like I was going to fall over and there's not even steadying yourself because there's nothing around you to like grab all to. It's almost like being thrown around in a fairground ride but you can't grab anything around you to stabilize yourself. And the problem is you didn't know when they were going to come so it wasn't like oh I know this section does it or this section does it and it wasn't always when loads of things was on screen either which is kind of peculiar. This got to such a big problem for me personally that I basically had to stop playing because I didn't want to injure myself. It wasn't so much making me sick like I was feeling motion sickness, it's just that every time it happened my body was jerking forward and everything and I was kind of like thinking I might actually injure myself or run into something or fall into something. So I stopped playing until hopefully it all gets fixed. And also if you're still here and you're enjoying this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. The loading I felt was a little bit too much, making it feel like Dishonored. And I didn't actually like Dishonored because there were too many loading bits in it. There were sections where I went into an area, it loaded, I went into a corridor from that area, it loaded again, and why, I'm not even quite sure. But suffice to say, it was irritating the hell out of me, and really broke the immersion of the game as I was playing it. Then there were these pickups you can get, sometimes they're all on the floor, sometimes they're on the table, but it was weird because sometimes you could like point at it and it would come to your hand if you press the right trigger and sometimes that didn't work. It was almost like it wouldn't lock on so you had to literally go over to the object, lean or kneel down on the floor to pick it up in almost real time and I know that Sometimes I was able to bring them to my hand and sometimes I weren't so it, it felt like it was broken And this was even worse when you had to pick up some ammo off the ground and you were being attacked It was very awkward, let's put it that way I did however fight my way to the boss, yes there are bosses and that was also weird for me It was kind of like running around in a circle shooting the boss creature whilst defending myself against his minions whilst shooting a bubble at the same time. The second time I went to him, it was basically just run round in a circle, avoid these spikes that he brought up and just keep shooting at things. 
it felt kind of like no imagination went into the boss at all and that was a bit of a shame. Moving on to the ammo pickups, they were a plenty, even more so at the kind of like before the boss and also inside the area that you were fighting the boss. But trust me, you would never run out of ammo. Opening lockers and the like, which also was kind of awkward because you had to stand in the right place to open them, they all yielded a few rounds of ammo and scrap which is used as currency to buy other things, weapons and the like. And these can be purchased before you go into the dungeons and also off a kind of weird chat that hides in a hole with the doors on and you go up and that was even awkward because that didn't feel like it worked either properly. Sometimes it came up with press B to buy and sometimes that wasn't even there and then trying to touch things and pick things up it just really didn't work for me and I'm not the only one as I went on to the actual app store on the MetaQuest 3 just to check out the actual reviews for this game because I thought maybe I'm not the only one having these problems or if I am then obviously there's something wrong on my part but no, it has a score of 2.6 out of, out of 5 stars and many people are actually having exactly the same problems that I'm having and some similar problems. And this really is a big shame as The Foglands has all the potential to be a great game but unfortunately right now it's hard for me to recommend to anyone for this game. Even the AI's broken, I saw an actual creature, more than one actually doing similar things to this running between some lockers and basically just kept on running so I just shot them and they went down. Others running away in the opposite direction into walls and some just coming up and standing there just obviously can't even be bothered with me so they just ignored me. And then you get like two enemies at the same time, one completely ignoring you, the other one detecting you and starting to attack you. And then you get the other problem where some will go down with one bullet and some are like bullet sponges. But it's really weird because no matter where I hit them, it did the same damage. I realised that some creatures were meant to be like one hits, others maybe two, three, four. But some just felt like I was hitting the same ones and some were going down in three bullets and some were like taking loads more or just not recognising the fact that I'm shooting them even from close range. This really has saddened me as I really was looking forward to the Foglands and all these problems has forced me to give it a 3 out of 10 which is well below average and a very big disappointment. Hopefully the game will be fixed and hopefully it will be done very soon and some of those low scores may be lifted up. Although I have seen this before where basically they fix the game but it's too little too late which is a shame because there's a great game trying to get out here i will hopefully if the devs let us know that it's been updated or i'll just keep checking here and there now and again hopefully i can do an update on this game saying that everything's been fixed and it's time to get back into it and play it like it should be played so for now i would say wait until it gets fixed and i'll keep an eye on it and update you hopefully in the near future so that's it, what are your thoughts on the Foglands? Leave them down in the comments below and also let us know if you've picked it up and you have similar problems. And until then, why not hit that like and subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video and you haven't already and come and join us in our community Discord, the link is down below as well. So take care of yourselves, have a good one and I'll see you on the next episode because life is better when we game together.